what I want my son to know from his father as he grows older. Currently, my son is four months old. And you see, he's already active. He's already vocal. And there's so many things that I want to teach him. And I want him to learn from me. And I want him to be inspired from me. I want him to know what a good man looks like. I want him to know what a present father looks like. I want him to know what a, a good husband, a great husband looks like to his wife, to the mother, to him. I want him to know so many things positive that can transpire in his life by everything that he does on a daily basis. His daily habits, his daily affirmations, how he carries himself. I want him to know health, wealth, love, happiness, and faith. These are the five pillars that I believe in for a healthy, fulfilling, and satisfied life. And I want him to know all of that. Health, wealth, love, happiness, and faith. If he lives by those standards, by always trying to achieve more and trying to create more and mature more and grow more in all five of these areas, he will live an incredible life. And this is what I live my life on. And I want to show that. I don't want to just say it. I want to show that. I want to have my actions speak louder than words. So everything that I do in my life, I want that to be inspiration for him. Like I said, Jordan, my son, our son, is four months old now. And it's really just a blessing to be able to see his face and to see his smile and him look at me. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah, let's go. To see him look at me, and I can already see that he knows that I'm his father and that he's safe and he's protected with me. And that means a lot to me. Recently, I just had a father figure pass away. And me personally... I grew up without a father. I grew up without a mother, too, due to drug addiction. Um, but because of that drug addiction, I also did not grow up with a father. I didn't know what firsthand what a good father or a good man looked like. But recently, I just had the closest thing to a father figure pass away in the last month. And as I reflected on his life, I started to write down some of the things that quantify and qualify the marks of a good man. And I want to share you what I believe are the marks of a good man. And there's several things that I might have missed out. But these are the things that really I saw in this person. Mr. Jimmy is who he is to me, but he is what a good man represents. And through the actions that he showed throughout his life is what I wrote down, the marks of a good man. All right, let's switch. Let's switch you over here. Let's switch you over here, baby boy. Okay. Your first video with daddy. Your first video with daddy. Yeah, good burps. Okay, so the marks of a good man. He builds a positive life for himself so that he can share the blessings with others. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18.22 He protects and he provides for his wife in all the ways to provide a happy, fulfilled, and peaceful home together. He is a present father. His positive influence on his kids' lives inspire and prepares them for adulthood. His partner has full trust and respect for him because he has earned it through daily actions. When conflict challenges arise for him, he is supported by his wife and kids willingly to honor all the support he has provided to them. His inspiration touches beyond just his wife and kids, but also touches even his kids' friends. That's where I come in. 
and even complete strangers he doesn't know. But they know him and get inspiration for a part of their life from what he has shown to be. Powerful. He leads a life that people want to follow, but most importantly, that his wife and kids want to follow and never sever ties from. And lastly, his legacy lives on after he is gone from the people whose lives he's touched. It's hard for most men to check all of those boxes, but you were no average man. And in this reference, I'm talking about Mr. Jimmy, the father figure that he was to me. But this is a broad topic for all men out there and how, what the marks of a good man are. And one thing that I did leave out that I really wanted to put in there was health. Making sure that your son, your daughter, understands what good health is because of the examples that you've set. Man, health is one of the most important things on this earth. For you to live a prosperous, healthy, fulfilling life, you have to have health because beyond anything else, if you don't have health, you can't live a, a, a long life. You can't live a, a happy life. And if you're not doing that, then you're not going to be setting a good example for your kids either. So I would also include that that I forgot to mention in here. And there's several other things that I could also mention for sure. But these are the things that I want to show my son as he grows older. One, two, 10, 15, 20 years old, I want to show him all of these things, the marks of a good man, so that one day he can be a good man. He can grow up to be a good boy. Okay, cool. My job from zero to 18 is for him to develop into a good boy that then develops into a good man. And first and foremost, in order to do that, I have to be the example. I have to be the inspiration. And a lot of men will not, will fall under the pressure of everything that they need to do to be that good man to their son or their daughter or multiple kids. But I'm up for the challenge. I believe in beat the odds. My life up to this point has been a beat the odds story. There's been a lot of challenges thrown my way, but I've always used that as motivation. I've always used that as inspiration. Money was always low growing up. Nobody in my family really understand, understood the importance of financial comfort, of financial freedom, and how to achieve that. And I want to be the first person in my family to break that generational curse. And I'm already doing that. But I know that there is levels to it. And I want to continue to financially succeed so that I can financially provide, but also so that he can understand what the marks on that level is as well. So that he knows that he doesn't, all, he doesn't have to struggle like I did. He doesn't have to learn the hard way like I did. Life is about continuing to progress so that the next generation behind you can learn from the mistakes from the previous generation. And that's exactly what I want to show him because there wasn't much guidance when it came to health, wealth, love, happiness, faith, the five pillars that I mentioned before. There wasn't much guidance on that. I had to, I had to learn all of that on my own. And by the grace of God, I've been able to do that to a, 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 a good, satisfying, fulfilling standard that I've set for my life. But I want to 10x that. I want Jordan's fulfillment in all five of these areas to be, even, to be even greater, to be even easier. Not so much greater, but so much, but easier. I want him to have a reference point. And that reference point is me. That's what being a good man is. That's what being a good father is. That's what being a good husband is. I want him to, sh I want him to see what 
true love looks like. I want him to know that he, that daddy really loves mommy. And these are the things I didn't grow up with. But I know that I want to share that with him. He's four months old, as mentioned. A lot of life to live. A lot of learning lessons for him and for me along the way. This is me. I'm a first-time dad, you know, figuring out along the way. And first-time parents, me and my wife, Jen, we're figuring it out along the way. And he's such a sweet boy, healthy baby boy, by the grace of God. And these are the things that I want him to learn. Yeah, baby boy. Yeah, baby boy. These are the things I want him to learn from his father. I want him to know what a good man looks like. I want to be that inspiration. So if you like this content about fatherhood, about being a good man, about being good parents, about bettering relationships and bettering marriages, continue to follow us. Subscribe, like our content, and follow the journey. Find joy in the journey is what we say at the end of every video. So please, find joy in the journey.